Sing me a song of a last that is gone. Say, could that last be I? Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Hey everyone, Alvine here. So I wanted to do like a little garden tour. Hello kitty. Get. Where is he? <coughs> Gina! He's hungry. He wants food. Um, <clears throat> my throat's a bit funny. I have been quite sick this past weekend. Um, but I'm feeling much better today. I've been out in the garden all day. You can't really tell. But I'm fixing it up. Finally. <laughs> we are putting in a veggie garden. I'm very excited. This is like the before. Okay? There's a chicken. Hello chicken. Hello. This is spiky. I think. No, this is floppy. They're looking very similar now. Um, when we first got them, they were very unhealthy looking. They had a lot of missing feathers, um, but they're thriving now and they're super happy. And they look very similar. Her, her, her floppy, what's it called? The waddle is not as floppy anyway. Oh my goodness. All right. So we've got a lot of junk, right? Garage. Yes. Um, got a whole bunch of pots here. There will be lots of wonderful things going into them very soon and then i've got some pipes down here covered in leaves i like swept a whole bunch of leaves here so that they come from this tree beautiful tree um and i put them under the tree so that the tree could get all those yummy nutrients from itself start of the hard rubbish pile which is happening um okay so over here this section here right so this is right outside my kitchen window Okay, let me show you my kitchen window this way because I don't want to show you my my car registration. That's my kitchen window and the blind is down currently. And you can kind of see me. Hi. So, here I'm going to be creating like a makeshift greenhouse. Um, I spoke to Crimson Fire about this the other day and she's like, right, this is what you got to do. So I'm like, sweet. So that's happening. So grass here is crazy long. Um, so we'll be getting rid of that. I was hoping that the greenhouse would be going up today, but my husband's very tired today, so that's okay. Um, but yes, it's going to be going there against this fence. And I'll show you when it's up and you can see what the deal is. Look over here. Look, we've got morning glories. Oh, I'm so excited. They're coming back. Yay, yay, yay. So those are coming through, which is awesome. All this needs to go. Crazy long grass. Like, look, there's the cat. And this is like the shortest grass. Maybe you can see my foot. All right, let me show you. We've got chickweed down here. Yum. And dandelion seeding. Okay. There's my foot. In the grass. It's crazy. So, chickweed. I wanted to do a little, like, these are my weeds and, you know, you probably have them too. And what are they good for? Oh, I love dandelions. So... Chickweed tastes awesome. I love chickweed. They're really good in smoothies. Um, they are good for a variety of things. Okay, I've got my little sheet of paper because I wanted to share some things with you and I do forget like what's good for what because I know they're awesome and I just use them but I don't necessarily, you know, go through the medicinal properties every time I use them kind of thing in my head. So, Chickweed, um, health-wise, is a great decongestant. Um, it's anti-inflammatory as well. It's a good antioxidant. It is very good for weight loss. Helps to burn fat, so that's always nice. Um, and it is very high in vitamin C, so it's awesome. And these are great in smoothies, um, really nice in smoothies. I put them in salads as well. Um, they're just awesome, so they're quite tasty as far as the old... Um, wild edibles go so that's some chickweed very exciting so let's go over here cat chicken <laughs> oh and I'll show you so oh and chickweed I just wanted to say um, I wrote down magical properties as well because I thought that would be exciting huh I'm short of breath man it's been a long day I'm still a bit sick so I can't breathe properly um, so magically chickweeds also good for balance um, in like group settings like uh, in terms of like being in groups of people or in relationships as well finding that kind of balance 
and um, it's good for discrimination too, like making good choices, not like the bad kind of discrimination. So I just want to show you, this is, these are the books I've used to get the, the information. So medicinal, this book is incredible. Free Food and Medicine by Marcus Rothkranz. I love this book so much. And excuse my nails, my hands, it's, I've got paint and dirt everywhere. Um, it's an incredible book and it just like goes through edible flowers and there's like some toxic plants in there so like stay away from and seaweeds and like weeds and just friggin everything it's oh, I love this book and it's not that expensive so um, if you are wanting to you know start to use the free food and medicine that is growing in your yard um, I would definitely recommend this book it's been such a good guide for me um, and then the encyclopedia of magical herbs I don't really say herb I say herb because there's a H in it no, I'm, I'm, te I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> um, so this is my tree. There is a boxing bag on the tree, which is used sometimes. And this, like, it's kind of broken. But this, like, antique lantern that I got ages ago. Um, so this is my tree. And the crows love to sit up here. And this is the one that's right outside of my window. So usually, when I'm talking to you guys, I'm sitting right there right there I've got a painting happening at the moment so that's happening Get. so over here this is like a little courtyard area very exciting stuff this is the yard from here there's another chicken same chicken I don't know where the other one is um, I've decided I'm very excited okay today in my head popped an idea and I was like holy shit why didn't I thought about it before I'm going to make this my altar this is an old barbecue that is no longer in commission. I don't know how many years it has not been in use since before we moved in here. Um, but I cleaned it all out today. There was like all manner of things growing in there, which some of them I loved. But um, as soon as I started pulling out the grass, like the beautiful plants came out with it. So I was like, all right, I'll just clear out the whole thing. So I'm going to create my altar here. And I've got some oceanic wonderfulnesses out here already. And I'll get the rest of that together. I'm going to put a painting right there. All up there. And it's going to be amazing. So over here we have... I don't know what this plant is, right? If anyone knows what this is. It's growing all over this area. Um, like not just in my yard but around the area. And I have no idea what it is. And it has like... Oh, none of them are on it. It has like these little things, right? Like this, like little like berry things. They almost look like little peppers um, and they're green. I saw some the other day with some red ones. So I don't know what they are. And then we have fruchsia here. Um, so I cut this big guy back a while ago to let the fruchsia have some light and it's just grown back like nothing else. So this is right outside my altar window. There's a couple of fruchsia flowers left. I love fruchsia flowers. They're edible too, so delicious I like edible flowers so in here lots of weeds of course but we have this parsley here this wild I call it wild because it keeps showing up um, by itself so wild parsley last year it was growing like in the front here you can still see that stump there was from it actually was it no that's a lie it was somewhere else that was a different thing never mind so parsley um, so that's really exciting we have like our own like wild growing parsley in amongst all this green fabulousness so parsley is like crazy high in vitamin c really high in iron so it's like so so good for you right um it's good for bad breath too it alleviates bad breath so if that's an issue for you um it cleanses the blood and if you make it into a tea it lessens asthma attacks um amnemia it lowers blood pressure it's a liver a liver stimulant sorry my voice um, I think I need some parsley um, it clears the kidney and liver obstructions any any of those happening as well so parsley is amazing and here's some earth smoke um, this grows like freaking everywhere this is like absolutely a weed now there are some people who say this is edible and there are some people who don't some people are like no it's not edible so I haven't eaten it because I'm just not sure but I've actually made um, an incense out of this it's supposed to be really good for purification and cleansing so I've just dried it out and it makes a really nice little incense um, it doesn't smell amazing but you know you're wanting to clear shit out so that's fine so let's go over this way look at this too okay my fence is falling down look at this Ugh. 
So our landlords don't care. I've been telling them for like, I don't know, it's been like a year. I'm like, the fence is falling down. They're like, yep. And I'm like, not yep, I want my fence fixed. <laughs> anyway, um, so what do we have in here? We have lots of oxalis in here. I love oxalis. It is so delicious. Oh my goodness. So all this stuff down here that looks like clover, right? It is not clover. So you can see it's on like taller, there's a little bug in there, taller stalks. Let me focus properly. This is going to be the longest video ever. Oxalis. Um, it has like a beautiful lemony flavor. So it's really nice for garnishing. So like on fish or hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's excited. He goes through this spot in the fence. You're going to go through the fence? Go show. Go on. Go. I'm trying to scare him a little bit. Not too much. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have to edit the shit out of this. Okay. Um, now it does have high levels of oxa oxalic acid, um, which binds calcium. So don't have it in high quantities. Um, so basically if you ate like a shit ton of this, um, you wouldn't be able to absorb calcium and that's obviously not a good thing. So, but it's good to just, you know, you can have a little bit and I like to just like eat it. So like this, mmm, mmm, lemony amazingness. Um, and magically. It's good for restful sleep, affection, and family togetherness. Isn't that nice? So, oxalis. So much oxalis. And look at this. I have roses blooming. It is almost the middle of winter. I've got buds and everything. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Right? Like, what the hell? Amazing. So, the roses are very happy. So, I'm having to, like, I have to manually focus. So, in, out, in, out. Roses are incredible. They are edible as well. Um, I haven't eaten any rose yet. I need to make a salad or something with some rose, I think. Because I love rose. Rose is yum. There is a chicken. Hello. It's floppy. I don't know where the other one's gone. So this is their, okay, you can see. That's their fence there, right? See the little, little poles all across there? Oh, there's the other chicken. She's out where she's supposed to be. Um, yeah, they just get through there now. We just knocked it up and there's like this gap by the fence and they're just like... Whatever, man. So every day they come and sit out by my window and just like have a great time. So these are agapanthers here. And they're not obviously flowering right now. I want to collect some more seeds, I think, and put them maybe at the front. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but agapanthers, amazing. Amazing. And then, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. Okay. Does anyone know what this is? It's come up through the brick, but I like it. So I left him there today. Um, what is that? Do you know? Can you tell me? Because I would love to know. Okay, and here we have mallow. Lots of mallow. Always mallow. So I've spoken about mallow before. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope I was able to edit that out. I just coughed and like, my goodness. I actually really need some mallow. I've got some mallow inside. I might make some nice tea for myself. Um, but mallow is great for sore throats, sinuses, bronchitis. Um, it's really good for bladders, um, getting rid of asthma, it boosts immunity, and it softens skin. If you, um, you can, okay, so hang on. What you can do is you can put it in a blender with a little bit of water. You blend it all up, and then you let it sit for a while until it turns ooey gooey. Um, oh, look at this, so beautiful. And you can use it on your skin. Um, and it's amazing for skin and for hair as well. You can make shampoo out of it. Now, all the things I'm telling you today are like, but a tiny detail of everything that these plants do. So look, the, look into it yourself, but I just didn't want to talk forever. And I think I'm already going to because I don't know. I have a gift of the gab or something. Um, and also I want to know what this is, okay? If anyone can tell me what this is, see, it's got white back. This stuff, it looks like it's in the dandelion family, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um, that's what it looks like though. I mean, this is a huge one. We've got it growing everywhere and I just, I feel like it's edible, like it looks edible. But, you know, obviously I'm not gonna eat it because I don't know what it is. Um, but if anyone knows, please tell me. There's more all through there and all over here as well. I want to know. Oh, there are my, my secateurs. I need to put them away. And we've got more chickweed going through there as well. Love chickweed. Oh, I didn't show you oxalis flowers too. These are the oxalis flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? And they close up at night time, so they're starting to close up. 
which is very cool. On these, let me just, oh my goodness, get through. Ooh, can you see? Flower! The birds are going crazy. I wanted to do this at this time because the birdies are happy. And the sun's gone away a bit, which is nice. So you can actually see it was so bright and sunny before. So there's our little gateways open. Doo -doo -doo. So through here, we have a washing line that hasn't been used for a while. And the vines are like fucking, look at this. Look at this. It's like a secret gateway. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Grass is crazy long. Sheep. Oh, wait. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, oh, never mind. Nothing. Okay. So here we've got one of our compost bins. In here I've got, this was already here, this structure. Um, so I've got all like, um, you know, clippings and prunings and some leaves, the leaves that would fit because <laughs> it got pretty crazy. Um, so that's like super full, but in like a week or two, that'll be down again and goes down really quickly. So yes, we've got some yummy compost happening, which is very exciting. This is a pear tree. Yes, the pear tree. We're yet to have pears. The first year we came here, there was a whole bunch of pears on it. And then we had this crazy, crazy hot day and they all shriveled and dropped. And then this year passed, all of the possums ate them. <laughs> hey Spikey. Apple trees. This one's got its leaves. Apple tree. This one doesn't have its leaves. So here in this section, I'm going to be putting my vegetable garden in the ground. Um, so the lawnmower carked it today. That's as far as my husband got. <laughs> Done. So that's fun. Um, but we do have someone coming to help us with the lawn. And you will see this at the end of the video if I haven't given it away already. Um, I'm making this in two parts. And I've talked so long, it's going to be the longest video ever. But I wanted to show you my yard, alright? Um, and here is our chicken coop. So that's where the chickens live. Very exciting stuff. And there's a cat. Can you see him? There he is. Stalking through the garden. He's good with the chickens too. Like, they don't, they don't bother each other. Um, I think because the chickens are, like, basically as big as he is. So if he, you know, gives them any shit, he, they give him what for. So this is the back of the yard. Not looking terribly magical right now with all the leaves gone and everything. Um, there's more composting to be done from this section of the yard. I haven't even touched this part yet. How cool is this tree? Look at this tree, look at this tree. Beautiful. There's a lot of trucks and traffic happening right now. It is after school time. So, peeps be cray. We've got this vine. I don't know what this vine is either, but it's like insane. This vine has been here. Okay, so I looked up, um, you know how you can do Google Earth? I looked up this property and the picture is from 2009 and this vine is still here. At the time it was summer, so everything was dead on the property except this fucking vine was like green and happy. So anyway, it's going a bit crazy right now. It needs to be cut right back because I don't want snakes moving in in summer. No thank you. Um, so this was going to be where we had our veggie patch um, originally, that was the plan, but it doesn't really get very much sun um, or not enough sun because of this vine here so i'm moving it out to that section out there we kind of wanted it or my husband wanted it kind of out of the way and then i was like no right smack bang in the middle of the yard thank you so here we've got a whole bunch of fat hen what is fat hen you ask fat hen is amazing it's also known as goose foot and lamb's quarters there are heaps of different varieties so this is just one we had a different one in here last year and it will probably grow up too. Um, this is all pretty pretty low at the moment. Get! Hi! He's following me around because he's like, I want food! I thought it would be nice to do the video now because he's actually all sociable because he's like, feed me! So also in this family is quinoa. So some of you may have heard of quinoa. Some of you in the health community. Um, I love quinoa. So all of the um, grains that come off here, like the seeds, can you can make grain with all of the varieties um, of goosefoot, lamb's quarters, or fat hen. I personally like that name the best <clears throat> for obvious reasons. Um, but all of the grains that you can make out of these are actually gluten-free. Um, so that's like amazing, right? We love gluten-free because who needs gluten in their life? Um, it's a great substitute for spinach. Apparently it's quite um, 
uh, people don't love the taste of it. Like they think that it's less tasty than spinach. Um, like it just doesn't have much flavor. Personally, I always mix up a whole bunch of them, so I haven't, I haven't really noticed that. Um, but you can substitute it for spinach, and you can see there's like tons and tons and tons of leaves on here. So great for smoothies, again, soups, salads, stir fries, etc., etc. Anything you're going to use spinach in, basically, um, delicious. And you can use it as a poultice um, for swelling, bites, arthritis. It's also a mild laxative too, and it has, of course, loads of other amazing properties because yes this is our other compost bin which I've dumped a whole bunch of leaves in as well Oop, there we go um, I actually forgot about this I need to pour a couple of buckets of water in there and then close it back up so we'll do that after this video bush this has crazy spikes look at this stuff ready look at that I would kill you the birds love this tree love it so that is pretty well the yard um, at the back here. I don't know what these things are. They have leaves like pumpkins. They're obviously not pumpkins. Um, maybe I should pull some up and see what's underneath actually. Um, yeah, but they're, they're really cool. They're so tall. They're like taller than my son. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. So yes, this is my yard. This is my yard in all its wild, wonderful fabulousness. Um, I'm very excited to kind of keep you updated and show you as it moves along and getting the veggies happening. It's been a dream of mine for a long time. I had a little veggie garden at my last house, um, but right before we got to kind of harvest, we moved. Um, so that, that kind of didn't go anywhere. And we started too late as well, which is why I'm starting this little greenhouse thing now. And I'm gonna start growing stuff now and I'm so excited. I've already got some seeds which are germinating now. So I'm very excited, very excited. Oh, and here too, this thing. This is grapes. It's a grapevine. I just cut that back today, so it's looking very unhappy. But it always grows beautifully every year. Cat, <laughs> he's going crazy. <laughs> this is what he's, you know, he has these little fits every day. You guys usually see him, well, if you see him, it's under protest. I'm like holding him and he's like, no. Anyway, so I just wanted to share this with you. This is my yard. That's my room and you can't really see anything. But yeah, I will be back to show you something else very exciting tomorrow, but it will be in like five seconds. Hello again. It is the next day. The sun is setting, as you can see, it's beautiful. And I want to show you our newest addition to the family. What could it be now? Hello. <laughs> Look. This is Barry the sheep. He's very skittish around people. Isn't he beautiful? Right with it, like look at this scene here. There's like bricks and like falling down fence. It's amazing. All right. So this is a better angle. Hey Barry. He's like, what are you holding? That is crazy, man. He's having a great old time here in the grass. We've got him um, tied up to a length of rope because he's very skiddy, like I said, and we thought um, it was quite a to-do to get him in the car today. Um, the guy who we purchased him from like, managed to get him in the car after a little bit of coaxing, but um, we thought if we let him go, we're never going to be able to catch him again and we won't be able to put him away and stuff. So until he gets used to us, like he's got like it's a massive length of rope. Um, so we just tie him up to different spots and like he's having a great time. Um, cause we want to be able to put him away at night. I don't know if I just said that. I'm really tired. Um, it was a huge drive. <laughs> we went on a massive road trip today to, to go and get Barry the sheep. Um, so Barry White. Yes, that's his name. And he's so cute. We had some nice cuddles in the car. Um, he got used to us after a little while and so he was getting all cuddly. And, um, it was so funny. Like Sean was like, making bar noises and then he would bar back <laughs> that was so funny so this is barry everybody meet barry it's very exciting so we have a mini farm happening we've got there are the crows we had some magpie visitors today as soon as we got home four magpies came up the driveway really close to say hi um, i put a little video of that on facebook We've got two chickens, a sheep, a cat, and we've got Bear, my sister's dog, coming to stay with us this coming weekend. So um, 
Barry's really good with other animals but a bit skiddy around people so I'm sure they're gonna love each other because Bear just loves everything um, yeah so this is what's going down I got a little clip too of Sean um, Sean and Barry barring together so <laughs> I'm gonna put that on Facebook as well um, but I wanted to do this video first I wanted the the reveal the sheep reveal to be on YouTube so this is the exciting thing I was hoping to like get like selfie shot but um yeah he's still a little bit skinny so I don't want to you know push him too far but he's so woolly and beautiful isn't he beautiful so it was so funny because we're driving around today in our little like we've got a Toyota Echo right so this tiny little car and there's just a fucking sheep in the back <laughs> Oh, it's the funniest thing ever. We had to stop halfway at home because I was like, I need to go toilet. And yeah, all these people looking at us like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yep. This this pretty much sums up what our family is like. So, Elisha hasn't seen him yet. He is, um, Sean's just gone to pick him up now from school. So, he's so excited. So, he and Barry are going to be fast friends, I'm sure. Well, I think it's going to take a little time. But then they're going to be best friends. So, sheep this is the witch's garden this is what's happening in this witch's garden anyway like crazy wildness everywhere um getting it cleaned up like i said i love the wildness look like i love i love the wilderness i love it but it is time to clean it up a bit and to get some food production happening so we haven't done any more on that yet today um, we've got soil that's coming in we've got tables and different things but when all that's happening I will show you as well what what is going down because I'm figuring this out as I go so um, I know there are many of you who are interested in gardening as well um, I'm getting a lot of tips from Crimson Fire so she's put up videos on how to do different things and um, it's amazing Oh, there's a noise behind me. I think Elisha is home. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and many, many blessings.